Hey there everybody, this is Shady Girl, welcome back to So More Sonic Mania and Knuckles and we're in Studio Apple Zone. And um, just one thing I want to point out, I have uh, I'm aware of the um, audio music. Um, I think that's probably been caused by uh, me actually recording this enti the entire thing all in one go. It's what I can assume because this entire thing is roughly about 2 minutes 30. Well not 2 minutes 30, 2 hours, 2 and a half hours or so. And that's including stuff I'm cutting out, including some of the stuff that I, happens in CO2 and it's basically me failing the balloon. Didn't feel like it was uh, any good to actually have it here. And just once I'd like to go through this level uh, going on the top route, but alas, this is not meant to be. I've ended up once, I've ended up once again on the bottom route, just like I did in the Sonic playthrough. Uh, basically, top route is the super fast part, the super fast route for this uh, this place. Because otherwise, you really do get lost, and you really have to do some like some platforms and slow platforming and stuff. And that's what that's one of the main reasons why uh, the two gets edited because I I can get so I find only path that I didn't want to go and I was just hopelessly lost and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going because I'm generally aware of one route where I need to go and if I'm not on that route then I get really concerned and lost and wanting to restart which is like what happened a few times. But uh, fortunately I've ended up back in familiar territory especially if you're nervous so I want it by, like I said that's the actual speed of this final emerald if uh, you're, actually playing, you're actually playing this on uh, pretty speed runs. Because they only get two emeralds in Act 1 of Chemical Plant. And they only get one in. Well, they get. Two, one, two, they get three in Green Hill. They get three in Chem Plant. And then they get this one in Studio. That one I just mentioned in Studio. That being said, the rest of this basically just plays like uh, Sonic Street. But Metal really doesn't have any uh, unique places to be. And I'm going to. Well, I tried to do the, the uh, slope thing. The speed up the slope thing. Um, there that again. Thankfully, that's actually getting uh, picked out of the uh, menu plus when that comes out. Well, that patch comes out in like a couple time. So this boss, this boss is essentially a random number generator. Um, you shoot three missiles at a time, and depending on which miss which missile is the blue one, which you have to hit, um, is when the blade is going to come out. Um, the top one being the first missile is going to be the first missile that's going to attack you. The middle one's going to be the second missile that attacks you, and the uh, bottom one's the third missile. I got a three earlier, then I got two here. Um, the RNG here was actually really good for getting the old transitions, the transitions over to the next section really quickly. Um, so I think for all of them actually. This would be nice if I was doing speedruns of this game, but I don't do speed, I don't do speedruns because basically, if I'm doing speedruns, it'll just end up making the game like not fun so off to play. And if it's, if it's a game I was fun playing, I'd just spin one of it and I'd just be like, oh, I hate this game now. Because all the attempts, all the attempts you have to do, screen up and RNG and other shenanigans. I don't know why I never do spin I mean, I probably will end up considering it at one point in time, but uh, I severely doubt it. Also, I do a smart thing by not letting the. Um, they're not running into the signpost, just walking into it so it just stays there so that's faster. And then I did the stupid thing by running all the way off the screen which means I have to come back. So anyway, Studio 2, as you noticed, I had to edit a few uh, problems, which is probably why my score, possibly my lives are different. So I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I do kill, I kill a few bandits on the route that I intend on taking. Which is about the top of right here, and I can get those a little bit uh, jiggery. 
There's also a glitch in this level that cuts out quite a lot of the the level, and it's also being patched out. And I did it in this I did it in the Sonic playthrough, so you'll probably uh, know what, what's going to happen here. Um, well, you know which glitch it is, and you see it. Um, it's, it's also pretty easy to do. I mean, I'm playing this casually, and I can do it, so uh, I very much trouble. Anyway, the the going to a um, part where there's the um, little cart screw, little rainbow cart screw things. Uh, one of them's here a spring that goes to the left, and actually going up to it right, 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 right now. Yeah, because uh, it's up here. I'll just swallow a bit and a couple of those. Over there, I'll swallow a bit. And I turn super here and I jump at this spring at the uh, right angle. Which I'm kind of screwing up. And eventually, I'll get it so that Knuckles actually goes through the wall and. Uh, well, it literally cuts out the last pretty much third of the level or so. Um, that, pa that thing was actually patched out at one point and then. Uh, Ended up coming back in and it's getting patched out for good in the um, end of the game. This um, boss comes out. Anyway, this boss, uh, this boss, I actually technically have to do legitimately, and it also helps if you have super. Uh, you're also suspect to the whims of RNG because Knuckles' jump height, even when super, is not great. In fact, Knuckles' jump height doesn't even change, unlike Sonic. Uh, so basically you're hoping for the RNG to roll either Sun or the Wind so that you can actually get the opportunity to actually hit Eggman. Uh, with Super, you can actually, when the Wind uh, happens, you can actually just fly into them when the uh, Wind happens. But if you're doing it, if you're having to do this legitimately, you have to hold on to the bars at the side, wait for Eggman to come near and uh, press the jump on. Um, as you've noticed, the spikes at the top of the stage, so you don't really want to be touching those. 8th hit and he's good as gone. One of, the, one of the first bosses in a row actually that uh, can actually give Knuckles speed which was jump height and other things. But anyway, that's it for Studio Wapless. I will see you in the next video where we go take on Flying Battery. Ciao!